the slide. It's live. Welcome to Earthrise, Monday morning, 9 a.m. Welcome to Earthrise, Monday morning, 9 a.m. Just getting some of the tech details worked out. My name is Mike Sabina, a musician with the Go Rounds. Um, done a lot of session work with my friends in Heavy Color, uh, Seth Bernard, uh, Elizabeth Pixley Pink. Did some solo stuff and record with my brothers. I'm also a music educator through the Suzuki Academy of Kalamazoo, an outdoor facilitator at Pretty Lake uh, down here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Earthrise, Earthrise, what a what a beautiful series. Um, You know, if you're not familiar, uh, the name comes from a photograph uh, taken of the Earth uh, when Apollo 8 astronauts were orbiting the moon. Uh, I find this really, really inspiring uh, because one, they were the first to leave orbit, Apollo 8 was, and uh, get around the moon. They didn't land on the moon, but they were orbiting it and they were asked to take pictures and they took they had a, like a reel of like a thousand pictures or whatever in this camera. And, uh, I thought it was really striking what one of the astronauts said uh, when I was listening to an interview um, preparing for this and saying that the, sort of the, they brought a television and a camera and, they, and he thought that they, they, that brought back the realities of what they were, what we were doing to the American people and to the people of the world. Um, I just think that's, that's interesting, these sort of, these little reminders and these little attachments uh, to this earth sphere uh, immediately bring us to the heart, you know, and the nature of humanity. Um, and as you're so far, you're rising from behind the dark side of the moon and you see just the earth the size of a thumbnail um, it really gives you I imagine it would give you a perspective to zoom out literally and figuratively in a way that uh, reverberates straight back to the heart you know? um, so Big, I want to just give a quick thanks to Higher Grounds Coffee. Uh, they're doing this whole series. Um, Higher Grounds is an organic fair trade coffee roaster in, in Traverse City, uh, founded by our friend Chris Treeter. Um, music, community, human connection, and social justice have always been central to Higher Grounds identity. Um, and our collaboration is a natural extension of both organizations' work. Um, so our earthwork has uh, um, done a lot of work with higher grounds in the past, uh, and they were just instrumental in cultivating a, a deeper uh, contact with the Traverse City community. Um, so huge thanks to them. I got some of their coffee. They sent me a wonderful little care package to prepare for this. And, perked me up this morning. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot to think about in terms of earth rats and, and viewing systems and challenging systems. Um, when we're so here in front of an issue, any issue, if it's, you know, that, how to fix my bicycle or, uh, you know, 
or things like systemic racism in America um, or uh, land rights and the sovereignty of rivers. Um, we, we all tend to, to get focused on things that excite us and compel us to lead a fruitful life and that's wonderful. Such, such a beautiful thing that there, we have this diversity of tactics and this ability to view the world from so many different angles. Um, and, but it's not often where I, I provided the opportunity to just objectively zoom out and see just how all of these things are part of one, one system of living. Uh, and so it's beautiful, it's beautiful to get those opportunities and uh, to zoom out and zoom in. Uh, one practice humans have developed, and it's a contentious word right now, uh, anarchism. And I found a, a quote by, uh, I was listening to a Noam Chomsky talk, uh, like, what is anarchism? And he answered simply, Anarchism is a tendency in human development that seeks to identify structures of hierarchy, domination, authority, and others that constrain human development. And then it seeks to subject them to a very reasonable challenge. Justify yourself. Demonstrate that you're legitimate. And I just thought that was really powerful to think that when we look at such a close definition of the word anarchism, uh, we might think of uh, some punk kids or uh, Antifa or leftist radicals or whatever. Uh, but it's a tendency, I think, that we all share. Um, as we play with our existence as critical thinkers, um, to look at structures of power and domination, authority, uh, and demand that they prove themselves legitimate, uh, you know? And so I just found that really powerful in this time. It's a, it's a way to zoom in and also zoom out um, to see how a structure fits within a structure. Uh, and we can be anarchic with ourselves and our self-love, and we can be anarchic with systems of power uh, externally. Um, you know, but it's that challenge to prove the, legitis the legitimacy of the system um, that allows us really to move, move forward, you know, and to have a really strong foundation. Um, what was happening in 1968 when the Earthrise photo was taken was the year that JFK was assassinated. Or no, excuse me, Robert Kennedy was assassinated in 1968. Martin Luther King was assassinated in 1968. Um, it was a tumultuous year. Um, when you see the people who were challenging structural authority and domination um, were met with just an equally repressive force. Um, so the question we all have to ask ourselves is, you know, uh, as, as, a, as a friend of mine, Chris, said the other day, uh, we, we had this event in Kalamazoo remembering the 10th anniversary of the Kalamazoo River oil spill and announcing that uh, we'll be starting a divestment campaign uh, from Enbridge and all of its contractors and subsidiaries and pressuring public workers in the city and county of Kalamazoo to um, divest their re retirement funds from uh, any of those subsidiaries. And uh, we had a speaker, uh, Chris, who, who asked, you know, what are you willing to do? How far are you willing to go? Um, and some people have risked their lives as 
someone who's become as iconic as Martin Luther King Jr., who just he took his whole critique of racism and began to apply it to the broader systems of power, the war machine, uh, unbridled capitalism, and even the, the mere critique of such systems can put your life in danger, uh, which to me only proves their illegitimacy. Uh, you know, if you can't stand for a uh, critical debate, then uh, sorry, but <laughs> you've lost your legitimacy. Um, so I'm going to play a little bit of music. Um, shout out to Caltone. Uh, Here. I can say I haven't really been playing songs as much as I've been just uh, exploring harmonic structure, so let's get a few minutes of uh, Jennifer. Coffee production, higher grounds is 
helping to change that paradigm. I'm really grateful we have something like that here in Michigan that'll work so closely with farmers, directly with farmers, work closely with their art, artist partners, um, and helping create real change uh, to the extent that their entire structure is touched by intentional. another earthwork artist and start your week with some words of hope, solidarity, uh, inspiration from the photo Earthrise. I wish I had one for you right here, but you can just search Earthrise. I guess there's some gaming. Some people have used Earth Earthrise in, in certain like uh, games, but if you, <laughs> you can also find the photograph. Um, you can check out past videos on the Higher Grounds YouTube channel. Uh, continue to support uh, producers and uh, products that are directly uh, networking with farmers. Um, and thank you, Tasha. Uh, just get a just a couple more minutes and then I'll I'll, uh, I'll be on my way. Go to E flat here. <laughs> Thank you. 